Gratiana was first released in Florida in 2003 in Polk County and ha since then has been released at over 340 different locations in the state. In total, we've released about 180,000 beetles from 2003 until the end of 2008, and we're still releasing more beetles this year in 2009. We did a large uh, survey at the end of last year to try and determine where the beetle had, had established and how it had spread in the state. And we found that the beetles in central and southern Florida, they were just about everywhere we looked. At 70% of the locations uh, that we selected to do the survey, we found the beetles. Further north, uh, we found no beetles at all. And so right now we're trying to explain that and figure out why the beetles aren't performing better uh, in the northern part of the state uh, as they are here in, in the southern part of the state. The reason uh, Gratiana boliviana, or the, the beetle we've released, is an effective biocontrol agent is that it only feeds on tropical soda apple. It will feed on nothing else. If there is no tropical soda apple, the beetles will die. Uh, they'd rather starve than feed on anything else. When the plant density decreases, the beetle density de decreases. When the plant density starts coming back up, the beetle population will follow it and they will build up as well. Okay, so we're going to release some beetles here. And what we wanted, these are beetles that we've collected out of our uh, rearing cages and brought them out to the field in this plastic container. And we're going to release about 10 beetles on a plant. And what we want to do is release about 200 beetles in an area because that makes, you want to release enough so the males can find the females so that they can reproduce and lay eggs. And so you don't want to just release like one beetle here and one beetle there. You want to put several uh, together in an area. And you can just kind of knock them off and uh, release them. In this cup, we've got uh, tropical soda apple leaves. And, and that's where most of the beetles will be found. So this one's got two or three beetles on it and I'll just lay that there. So that's probably enough for this plant. I just released maybe 10 beetles here, and then I would move on and release 10 at another plant a few, few yards away, and do that until I've released about 200 beetles. If you're interested in receiving more information about tropical soda apple, or to obtain some tropical soda apple beetles, cattle ranchers and other land managers throughout the state of Florida can contact their local county extension office. There are county extension offices throughout the state of Florida, and we're here to assist ranchers in receiving these beetles and to also help them come up with an integrated pest management plan to tackle their tropical soda apple problems. Just call your local county extension office, make an appointment to come out to the office or to work with a local county extension agent. We'll teach you how to properly identify tropical soda apple and how to use the biological control agents.